Good morning, Jaguar Nation. Some of you need some coffee this morning. Can we do better than that? Good morning, Jaguar Nation. All right, all right. That's what we like to hear. On behalf of Dr. Brooks Kill, our president, I want to welcome you to Convocation, one of the most exciting times of our academic year. Dr. Kill regrets very deeply that he can't be here with you this morning. He came down with COVID over the weekend, and he's doing well and following CDC guidelines and quarantining at home, but um, he really hates that he can't be here today. So I hope that when you see him on campus, you've got a president who is approachable, who wants to talk with you, and wouldn't even mind a selfie with you every now and then. So I hope you'll take advantage of that. My name is Russell Keene. I serve your university as Executive Vice President for Administration and Chief of Staff to the President. You and those who have served as your support systems have worked hard to get you to this point. Today, for you, marks a new beginning, a new chapter, a chapter in setting the runway for the rest of your life. As freshmen, you enter college with a great potential, maybe a little nervousness, excitement, and wonder what the next four years are going to be like for you. But over the next four years, you will be challenged to reach your full potential as a person. You will have the opportunity to expand your minds, build lasting friendships, and make significant contributions to this place, this place, Augusta University, your university, and you will become an Augusta Jaguar. We are all up here and around campus, regardless of whatever position somebody might hold on our staff, on our faculty, we're all vested in your success. And one goal for you as graduating seniors in four years is for you to walk across the stage at commencement with a sense of confidence, knowing that you are well equipped with the skills and mindset needed to advance in your careers, make a positive impact on the world, both near and far, and more importantly, to pursue a life fulfilled with a sense of purpose and excitement. We celebrate these special milestones, the beginning of your co college career today, and when the time comes for you to walk across the stage at graduation, because you, each and every one of you, are our priority. You are why we're here. Freshman Convocation welcomes you to Augusta University and highlights our commitment, our collective commitment, to your success. You have a meaning and a purpose here. Take that in for a minute. You, you have a meaning and a purpose here. We hope that you have the time of your life here and can't wait to see what the future has in store for you at Augusta University. And on that note, it is my pleasure to introduce you to your Student Government Association President, Dee Mallory. As a chemistry major with a concentration in biochemistry, Dee has some advice to share with you highlighting our six Augusta University values. Dee? Thank you so much, Dr. Keene. Good morning, class of 2026. My name is Dee Mallory, and I serve as your Student Government Association president. As I stand before you today, I am thrilled and excited thinking of the opportunities I will have to cross paths with all of you. I am always here to be an ear to listen and a voice to speak for each and every one of you. Congratulations to you all as you have endured the 12 year long journey of grade school academia. Now you are here at Augusta University and you are about to endure a shorter yet more rigorous journey, not just towards a degree, but also towards your adulthood. Here at AU, you will navigate a plethora of experiences that will contribute to shaping your perception of adult life. These experiences, negative and positive, will always contain lessons, and it is crucial that you always take these lessons and apply them to your personal values. I will say that I was not always stuck in this mindset, but rather, in my experiences, such as being an active member of SGA, I learned to embody all, of, all six of AU's core values, which in turn catalyzed my development into the person I am today. I want to share three lessons with you that might help you embody these values compassion, excellence, collegiality, inclusivity, integrity, and leadership. Lesson one is to take the first step. 
Taking the first step can be anything. Anything you wish to change in favor or betterment of yourself, it requires you to take that initiative. At AU, two core values that require one to take that first step are compassion and collegiality. Compassion is one's ability to empathize and sympathize with experiences, emotions, and feelings of others. Collegiality is one's ability to work and work well with those who are so vastly different from themselves. These two values go together and require one to always take that first step. I took these first steps realizing my passions for helping others and knowing sometimes it's just not about me. Once you all take that first step to accepting others and yourself for the people you all are and who you all are and who you are all to become, only then can you begin to open your mind to the plentifulness of the collegiate experience. Lesson two is to practice integrity and inclusivity, bettering yourself as an individual. Now that you have opened your heart and mind to being compassionate and collegiate, now it's time to ensure that your intentions are pure and look to benefit the good of all. As humans, we tend to, get to dedicate ourselves to the external aspects of our lives while losing focus of our own internal needs. We must not do that. And I encourage you all as students to not do that as well. You must be inclusive, but not just with everyone else, but also with yourself. When one talks about inclusivity, we usually talk about interpersonal relations with others, but also let's look at how we are treating ourselves. Are we being equitable to our own needs? Are you putting others first and leaving yourself out? Lesson three is learning to demonstrate excellence in leadership through service to others. Serving in AU's SGA for the past two years as a senator, I have learned the importance of this service. Not only does it make you stand out externally, but it makes you feel validated internally. To know that my peers have instilled in me a sense of trust to work for them and to want better for them, I don't and will never take that fact for granted. And that is being a leader. Being a trustworthy, vulnerable person to those around you, letting them know it's okay to be human and imperfect while helping to build themselves and yourselves into more perfect people. Some people wonder why, and the answer is simply this. In this vast and scary world, we will always need someone for something. I extend my hand and help to others just for the hope that if I may need the same in return, that they too won't deny me the solace of their company. I say all this to say, be conscious every day of each of these values, compassion, excellence, collegiality, inclusivity, integrity, and leadership. For these AU values will help you guide you to be the masters of your destinies and shape you into the people you all wish to become. I will leave on this note. It is only until we begin to act and internalize being like no other with our actions speaking louder than our words and only then can we live the reality of being like no other. Thank you, class of 2026, and I look forward to watching you all grow and succeed as students. Welcome to Augusta University. And now I would like to introduce you to our provost and executive vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Neil McKinnon. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Dee, for that message of uh, collegiality and compassion and how you live out those values in your own life. And certainly uh, you serve as a role model uh, to us all. Well, class of uh, 2026, I would like you to picture a scenario with me. You are on a flight with your grandmother sitting next to you. Partway through the flight, she complains of chest pains and thinks she is having a heart attack. You press the call button for the flight attendant who quickly comes, and then she asks over the public announcement system in the plane whether there are any physicians on board. Immediately, 15 physicians respond, all pressing their call bell, and they happen to be all cardiologists on their way to a cardiology conference. These heart specialist physicians take good care of your grandmother, and she ends up doing just fine. Well, the scenario that I described actually happened. The grandmother's name was Dorothy Fletcher, and the flight was going to Orlando, Florida. If there was ever a flight to have a heart attack on, that was the flight. 
So why did I share the story about a heart attack here at Freshman Convocation? Well, I'm convinced that some things in life are about timing and being at the right place at the right time. I believe that you are all here at AU on purpose for a purpose. I believe that you are here at the right place at the right time. President Keel and I are so pleased that you're here and we can't wait to see the amazing things that you will accomplish over the next four years. Well, and now the moment you've been waiting for, uh, the class pinning ceremony. Uh, traditions, of course, are very important in academic life, uh, much like ringing the Arsenal bell, uh, throwing a penny into the Blanchard Fountain, which you will do at brunch today. The class pin, which you have been given, has symbolic meaning. So if you reach into your bag and uh, go in and pull out your class pin, so I'm going to kind of walk us through the meaning of this class pin before you uh, put it on yourself. So you can see the interior color is blue, and that is your class color, blue. Uh, at the bottom of the pin, it says class of 2026. So that's the year that you will graduate uh, from Augusta University. Uh, in the interior, you can see the A symbol, the A bell tower. Uh, the tower represents the academic pursuits and aspirations of Augusta University and it was designed to reference architectural components from around the city, both old and new. Uh, it was created to give all entities within the university a common tradition and embody the spirit and strength we now share. So class of 2026, if you wanna take out your uh, pin and try not to stab yourself, but uh, put it on yourself, that would be wonderful. If you need some help from the person next to you, that's fine as well. All right, so if you've got it on yourself, then you are now officially part of Augusta University. Congratulations, class of 2026. Woo! Well, as I mentioned, traditions are important, and there's one more way that we want you to celebrate and that is through our new Augusta University alma mater. So actually, if you take out your fan, I believe the words are on the back of the fan, so you can cheat and look at the words as we, as we go along. Um, what we're going to do is actually uh, uh, listen to it once, and so Dr. Uh, Marcel uh, Hamaldo uh, from the Department of Music, uh, he'll be singing through it once time. He'll be accompanied by Dr. Uh, Martin Jones. So they're going to play it, he's going to sing it, and then the second time, I'm going to ask you to sing it. And by the way, there is an incentive to sing loudly. Of course, we have you seated in four groups, uh, 2026. Uh, Dr. Dukes, who's behind me, she's our official judge. Whichever section sings the loudest will be going to lunch first. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. So there's an incentive. So again, the first time, we're just going to listen. And then the second time, we're going to ask you to sing along. In the shape of the mighty growth, we forge our destiny. Through knowledge, truth, and honor, our journey here to see, we draw Augusta, Augusta, it's told a history. 
Pagasta, Pagasta, sounding to the world with vision for the ages. Augusta, we are AU. All right, well, that was impressive. And I have to say, even if you sound perhaps more like me and less like Marcel when you're singing, that, that's okay. So again, this is the time for you all to join in. Uh, and maybe I'll have Dr. Dews, if you mind standing over here, because she's our official judge. Again, the uh, loudest section goes to lunch first, all right? So definitely you want to impress Dr. Duke. So are you guys ready for this? All right, let's go again. All right. Excellent job. Oh, are we ringing the bell first? Are we ringing the bell? Yeah. Make sure I'm good. Yeah. Oh, okay. You good? You want to ring? I think you ring the bell first. All right, we're going to have Dr. McKenna ring our bell. We all need a little more coffee this morning, don't we? Hey, y'all did a great job with that. I like that in the Augusta. Augusta, that's when you really came through uh, this morning. So uh, Dr. Sharon Dukes will be up here momentarily to help us organize the, uh, the photo, the class of 2026 photo, our final tradition we'd like to share with you today. Uh, after your photo, you will join your faculty in the Grove for a college brunch. But now we're now officially closing the convocation ceremony with the ringing of the Arsenal bell. You will hear this again at your own graduation four years from now. We cannot wait to see what the exciting things you do in the years that you are here. So without further ado, go Jags. Right, Jaguars, we are going to give our provost a few moments to um, get to you guys. All right, so this is the special part. This is my favorite part of convocation. It is the class photos. 
okay? You guys are very, very special. We have a drone in the sky as well as someone on top of the roof to take your picture. So you're going to listen carefully because the main thing is to hurry up and do this so we can do what? Say it with me. We want to hurry up and do what? All right, all right. So I need everyone in the class of 2026 to stand up and take your class T-shirt out your bag. Stand up. Take your class T-shirt out your bag. You will have 10 seconds to get your shirt on. And 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, you're moving fast. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Somebody on the front row got it backwards. He's changing it to one. See, I was looking out for you. Okay, so now that you have your class shirt on, we are going to first look up at the drone, okay? And then after that, we're going to look at the rooftop. So are we ready for the drone? All right, everyone, look up. Five, four, three, two, one. Smile. All right, good, good. All right, now you're going to look right above me at the roof. All right, three, two, one, smile. All right, good. We got the roof shot, got the drone shot. All right, so the next part, you should have sunglasses in your bag. Grab your sunglasses. Sunglasses, sunglasses. Uh Uh-oh, okay, Dr. King, Dr. McKinnon got the sunglasses. Oh, this is going to be a cool photo. This is a cool one. Dr. McKenna, I'll make sure I got you for Instagram over here. I got you. All right. Everybody has their sunglasses on. We are going to look up at the drone one more time. So five, four, three, two, one. Look at the drone. Smile. All right. Good job. All right, everybody. We're now going to look at the rooftop. Look at the rooftop and smile. Three, two, one. All right, excellent job. You give yourselves a round of applause.